Did you ever wonder what the Exynos 9810 could have been? Or perhaps should I say the Samsung Galaxy S9? Or did you not? In this video we are going to overclock the Samsung Galaxy S9 but the Exynos variant. If you want to follow the video, make sure to accept that I am not responsible for any damage done and please make sure to back up your data. Let's go. So these are all the things that you are going to need. An unlocked bootloader, firmware latest, TWRP downloaded, solder ROM downloaded and white wolf gunner downloaded and I'll be telling you how to flash them and install them. So let's go. First off we need to unlock our bootloader. This is a fairly simple step to do. First you need to click on bill number from about phone 5 times and then enter your password and then you can go to developer options. You will have to back up your data before you can hit on the OEM unlocking option because it will de delete all of your data. Now download the latest firmware from Sam Firm app and flash the latest one UI. This is Odin. There is also a link to it in the description and you have to, uh, you have to connect your phone and then you can uh, flash the latest firmware that you have just downloaded from Sam Firm. Links to all of the files will be in the description box so make sure to check out the description box as it is very important things that you need to download before you begin. So attach all the files, bootloader, AP, CP and everything else. The AP will take a lot of time so bear that in mind and it will also go to uh, not responding but you have to wait till at least 5 minutes. Now this is the AP file and it takes a lot of time to load because this is a biggest file in this one so you have to wait a lot. Now it's time to put your phone in downloading mode. Press volume down plus power key and big speed at the same time after turning off your phone to go into the downloading mode. And now we can start flashing the software. Our phone will show up and if it doesn't show up then you have to download the Samsung drivers. And as you can see the audience is it's added and now let's start flashing it. And it will take about uh, 4 to 8 minutes depending upon the speed of your um, speed of your uh, PC and the speed of your solid state drive or hard drive. Now you have to reboot your phone and also make sure if the bootloader is still unlocked. If it isn't you need to um, check for software updates and it will unlock itself in the developer options. And you will have to complete the setup first. So complete the setup and make sure your bootloader is still unlocked because it is very very important. Now let's go into downloading mode once again because we need to flash the TWRP recovery. Let's go into downloading mode and now you can flash the TWRP. Press reset on the Odin and go to AP and download the TWRP the link, link is in description and now you can flash the TWRP as well. Here we go. So this is gonna take 4 seconds to flash and make sure that after your phone turns off make sure to press volume up key and big speed key and power key at the same time this is very important 
as you can see my phone is added and now I'm going to start it in a second as you can see I've started and it will probably take four seconds to flash it and then you are going to press volume up key plus power key and Bixby key at the same time as soon as the phone hits off and it is very very important so you can see my phone is off and I'm going to press volume up key big speed key and power key so it will go into TWRP you're gonna see go to wipe and now go to format data you have to go to format data type yes and this will format all the data on this phone because without formatting the data twrp cannot access your files so it deletes the encryption on the phone and now your phone should show up in your pc now you have to reboot into recovery once again from twrp and it will get you back to twrp and after that your PC will recognize your phone once again and now you can copy the soldier ROM that I gave you a link to and also you can uh, copy your uh, kernel the white wolf kernel which is going to overclock your phone now follow all the steps that I have done in this video to install and flash the soldier ROM mod After flashing it, it will also take you back to rebooting and now you have to do the setup once again that you just did after flashing the firmware. So make sure to do the setup once again and the ROM will reboot in 10 to 12 minutes so it can take time because it is a fresh booted custom modded ROM so it can take some time you have to be patient and after that you can uh, do the setup and it will be probably easy so do this once again
now after the setup is done you need to go back to power off your phone and you have to go back to your recovery to flash the kernel which will overclock your phone so let's go back to the uh, current uh, custom recovery by pressing the power key plus bixby and the volume up key and now we need to flash the white wolf kernel link is in the description below and you have to flash it to overclock your phone if you wish to root your phone you can root it after this thing by flashing magisk of course I've made sure to make the tutorial as simple as possible for all the guys that don't know what custom kernel or uh, custom modded ROM or uh, recovery means so this is our PUBG and make sure to know that this is on screen recording so the FPS might drop a little but if I'm not screen recording it is very very good and stable this is screen recording so it's going to uh, 50 or 48 or 45 but mostly it's on 58 to 60 and that is very very good on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Exynos variant and I also performed the GFX benchmark scores and also the Geekbench 5 so make sure to view that as well but as you can see the FPS are pretty stable and it is 1080p screen recording if I was not turning this recording on it would have been at 58 to 60 all the time but as you can see it is going to uh, 48 when I am hitting with the AKM and this is all the things that you need to do to get yourself really stable FPS on PUBG Mobile and other games as well and you can play competitive on this phone as well So these are the Geekbench 5 scores and these are a lot lot better than the Snapdragon 845 and it has outbeat in it. As you can see it is overclocked, it is running on 2.9 GHz and 4 of its scores are running at 2 GHz. If you watched till the end make sure to subscribe for more videos like this on your favorite phone and comment down the phone that you want me to overclock next. This is Arida Sun and I'm signing out. Peace out. First point for the red team.